Morning, Mike. Man, it's a little warmer today. Good morning. How's it going? Good morning. How do you get this damn toy out of here? So you have this, you'll have rebar, boom, we set up another form board, put snap ties through the, the holes here in the form boards, and that'll keep it together and we'll pour in between the form boards. And then that's how you'll get your concrete walls. I'll double check with the guys. Yeah, I mean, whatever. And we're going to waterboard over this rock. You can see it's very, very unconformity. So will be kind of tricky. Uh, let's see. That's your normal wall. Doing every other? Are we doing every one? And I got the five over here. Is 20 of them? At least? Yeah, use the 20 for the... No, I'm saying we need at least 20 of them. Oh, yeah, for sure. You have a... Did I give you a marker? Huh? Happy birthday. Thank you. Still going. Hey, Doug. Hey, good morning. Hey, no fair. It's it's a little chilly and Boone's got the fire. <laughs> How's it coming, Boone? Oh, well, you know. Some more. Yeah. How many more you got to go? Uh, five or six. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try it a bit differently on, on the next couple. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Just power through them and get them done. So, yeah. As soon as you get this done, I'll help you uh, put them up. Okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out talk to Mike, big uh, Rogers, okay. and see if we can get him to... Uh, do the other side of that wall okay and so that uh they can do the steel on that next and then we can tilt ours up or yeah. tilt yours up okay that way we kind of see how what we're dealing with sounds good yeah, yeah that's cool oh happy birthday devin appreciate it yeah and the foundation is not not that delicate but yes, thank you for not dragging them. I don't want to. That was my only concern. I don't want to drag them around. All right. Ah, oh, we have a new guy. Hey, Roberto. Oh, there's a guy, Pablo. Yeah. Hola, senor. Hey, senor. ¿Cómo está? Muy bien. Pablo. Uh, Pablo Ruiz. Yo, uh, yo, uh, yo, 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 Cool. Thank you. Yeah, hablas inglés muy poquito? Poquito. Yeah, si sí, yo hablo español muy poquito. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Very good. <laughs> that's that cool. Uh, you like, uh, yo bien uh, steel and masonry? Um, uh, you do the raca? Yeah. And masonry? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Uh, we have a, have a, a mass, mass raca, uh, masonry mm -hmm. stuff going. I put a uh, block, brick, and uh, stone, whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you stucco? Stucco, yes. Yeah, stucco. Can you do a uh, drive it stucco? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll see. Maybe, maybe. Uh, a lo long time I, I no work for the stucco. See. Well, no le hace. Yeah. So okay. They. Okay. Yeah, stu stucco is. Uh, it's actually kind of expensive. I, I I forgot how it used to be cheap, but now it's expensive. But okay. Well, nice to meet you, Pablo. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, travel hard mucho. So, gracias. Okay. If I said it right. <laughs> Did I say it right, Robert? <laughs> I said trabajar mucho means work work much uh, or work a lot. Yeah, trabajar mucho. Yeah. Okay. And trabajar uh, duro. Duro means hard. Right. It's hard duro. work. Like working hard. Okay. Hard work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's gonna come here, right? Up here. This is correct. So this wall right here, mm -hmm. this continues straight through. Straight through. But I'm. Yeah, I'm looking at how we're gonna you know fill this in. I think the best route 
I'm gonna, I can put a 21 inch batter board there and that right against that one and then start running two by 12s across yeah and then just fill in now i'm thinking about drilling dowels Correct. on each side of this two before so you'll have to hold it mm -hmm. and then on this side when we just uh, clip, uh get our saw and cut that rebar off right there hmm. well i'm not following 100 percent but <laughs> what i'm thinking is is so so when we get the steel here uh-huh We'll, we'll run the board through, uh -huh. right through here, right? And then this section, so the board comes on through, and then we're gonna turn over to, to that way. Right. This side here, we'll kind of continue it over, and we're just gonna flood it with concrete. Because okay. it's too, I think it's too complicated to, to mess with, to try to frame all this up. I'm just like, let's just build the frame up, and then we'll put concrete on. And on then, the back side. Yeah, exactly, okay. you'll never see this, though. you don't have to mess with all this. Right. So I got the plumbing to, to make that turn right there. Bring the pipe through, do the French drain. The drain. Okay. Yeah, that way we just kind of frame around it, and then we fill it with concrete. And this is, we'll never see this again, and we'll worry about the next section of it when we're doing the, the house framing or yeah. the, the upper portion. Now, what I was telling Boone is that he's going to do kind of this intricate work here. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if you want to, because that burning those boards are taking so long. Um, <clears throat> what I was thinking about over here is it's, it's really just the continuation, and like you said, maybe. Wherever, wherever you can go through where you're not hitting any rocks. Mm -hmm. Like you said, the two by 12, this is the back side of it. It's gonna be around about, see it? Yeah. Somewhere right in here. Right on, you just run that over and you run those up. Uh -huh. And that's your back side. Yeah. And then whatever you want to dowel, I would, then I would, I would just put a, a, a two by four, two by six on the back side of that and brace it. Like a typical form board, right? Mm -hmm. On the back side of this. Right. And then we'll come in and we'll fill this in with all the intri yeah, intricate we'll pieces. Yeah, we'll fill this in. I'm going to go with what I'm thinking about, yeah. since this is such a nice little area right here, yeah, go ahead sure. and just put a, I can put a 21 inch batter board and it'll fit to right there. Yeah. So all we have to do is that. And then everything's going to attach to this right here okay. going across. Yeah. Or if you want to, since we've got these two by 12 by 16, uh, you might just want to run them all the way through. That's what I'm thinking. Or just attach it right it's to this uh, and then make a little piece for this. We'll build just a small batter yeah. board here. It'll be just like this one. Okay and then we'll just tie into it right here yeah because we can by the time we we nail and bolt this together it's solid as, as yeah. one single batter board, okay which would be better than having all these pieces sounds great then and this it, is going to have this is going to have a lot of weight here because of the height that yes, you see me you're correct so maybe having one piece that goes and this up. piece okay. here won't be so won't have the psi because it's are we talking the maybe, depth is maybe four, four foot four foot which we yeah. talked yesterday it's gonna be 600 pounds of pressure at the bottom which ain't that bad versus 1500. yeah exactly so we do that <coughs> take it across and then once we set these backside boards then we can come along and we could dowel into the rock for the, for the rebar to go up yeah and then while we're doing that then boone's going to come along with individual pieces and he's going to burn them uh probably just do the front side boards and then he'll come in burn them while they're up here i think you should yeah just get burn them, in, them place. in place I think you should. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Because we're going to be doing cutting and everything, yeah. and it's going to have marks. And it's so only get four, it up here. And it's only four foot down, so you can probably get the torch down there. Yeah. And if you, and it, yeah, perfect. Okay. So this will have the grainy look, just like this wall over here. Yeah. Uh, could y'all guys get the? Uh, I need some help with the bobcat work. Uh, take the steel off the bobcat. Okay. Bring them in here. The post. Uh, we'll set. Well, we're going to do this one first. Mm -hmm. uh, set set it right there, and then. Uh, Justin's gonna weld them, but okay. I need that dirt move like double A sap around the side because the mini is gonna go away this morning okay. And I need to get that dirt up on the hill. So I need people driving the mini. I'm probably gonna put food on that Would y'all would do that? Yep. Right now? Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Pretty boys. Which one of us? Pretty boy? What's up? <laughs> this is kind of day we're having. It's really hot. We got to shovel dirt. No change for me. They're not used to it though. Texas Crew Dog member right here. Say hi, Pablo. Huh? Say hello. Hello. <laughs>
So I was just thinking, you know, we ought to have the uh, Texas Crew Dogs uh, shirtless challenge. And uh, all of our uh, subscribers could uh, vote on their favorite crew dog. And so, uh, but we need to break it up in age groups because I can't compete with Devin or Boone. But in the 40 plus crowd, I might, I might be all right. And then we got the, then we got the 50 plus crowd and the 60 plus. So I don't know. See, what I'm yeah. thinking is you have, you'll have people on there that like real men, and then you have people on there that like whatever Gavin is. <laughs> And that's Devin, the dad bod is in, dude. That's what I'm saying. The dad bod is what it's all about. Look at get a picture of me right now. Look at that. Yeah. Well, that's it. We need a, we need a calendar, Doug. Uh, Texas Crew Dog calendar for next year. Uh, yes. It may. So, our viewers may want to know why are we putting all this caliche, uh, com, you know, dolomite, limestone, clay mix on top of our our beautiful pool foundation. Well, the reason is simple. This stuff is 40 bucks a yard. And gunite is 270 bucks a yard, so we got three thousand dollars worth of caliche, which is uh, 72 yards, which is about eighteen thousand dollars worth of gunite. So by doing this, we're saving fifteen grand in gunite cost. Yeah. So that's why we're shoveling for a couple hours. And we're a dollar yard up here. <laughs> and Mike's like, and I'm. You want to hand it? Up. Yeah. One, two, three. I'll guide it. <laughs> Nothing to it, guys. You got it. You got it. Where y'all going with it? Look at these macho men here. Yeah, I'll just get the bobcat. Yeah. Smarter than that, harder. Hey, Gavin, you were born to be a supervisor. <laughs> My daddy told me when I grew up, I'm going to be a, a supervisor. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, all the way to the back. I don't want this to go slam. I know it's a rental. Episode 48. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Ricky Bobby, that dude. Hey, Ricky Bobby, that dude. Hey, Ricky Bobby, that dude. Hey, Mike, you're good. I tried to speed up. Stay with me, buddy. Geologically, rocks always break at a 30 degree angle. That's perfect. Good to know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's going on, Mike? All of a sudden, I see this ominous camera, Donna, over my shoulder, like, what are you doing? I am connecting the French drain before we cover it with concrete. That's the idea. So I'm going to turn the corner and connect this pipe, and then we're going to run it along the exposed rock surface here. 
and then we're going to drill some holes in the uh, four inch PVC pipe and that will so any wa water that weeps through the wall will uh, get into this pipe and go out our drain here and uh, away from the house so this is an important little piece here Yeah, I think we could use a waterfall. Cool. Yeah, as Robert says we're putting a waterfall in right here. I, I didn't say that. It was a fall. <laughs> um, and then, oh, maybe it would be. Maybe it would be. My name's Devin Hollingworth, and welcome to Dog Ass. <laughs> Take it, miss. I'm gonna squirt. Ah, ah. <laughs> Listen to my hat, guys. Ah! Sixteen up wide. Same thing. The hose. Sixteens, but the three eighths. Three eighths. Uh, yeah. And I got a big bit if you need it. Okay. It's no good. All right. Need another bit? Yeah. <laughs> It's ocho, okay? Ocho. Ocho. Entonces, a uh, uh, 16, 1, 6, 1, 6. De la línea, 16, sí. Okay, Paul. Yeah. You want to help me do some extra, extra special stuff? Sure. So we're going to build, we're going to build a uh, hoist okay. uh, for the I-beams. Okay? And uh, so what it's got to do, I've got a design but it's got to lift 2,000 pounds, and I want to be able to reuse the lumber because each um, we're going to use the two by 12s to make it. Okay. And so. Um, you got I, the design drawing out? Yeah. Yeah, kind of, sort of, uh, <laughs> in my head. But uh, the big thing is, is one of these I-beams is on the corner here, right? So mm -hmm. typically we'd, we'd build it like an H or something like that, shaped like an H, and we just hoist it up. I've got, I got um, winches to lift it up, okay. two of them. But since it's on the very edge, we're going to have to build it one-sided. So it's going to come, a 2 by 12 is going to come straight up, and I'm going to put one at an angle. And the angle is where we're going to hoist from. But the angle coming back will be 8 foot offset. And then what we'll do there is, is we're going to put sandbags on the end of it. So 2,000 pounds, and it's offset by 8. So you divide 2,000 by 8. What is that? Uh, Give me a phone now. Yeah, what is that, like 300 pounds? No, no, it's like 250 quite, pounds. 250, 250 pounds. pounds 250 is. pounds. So we need at least 250 pounds of weight to offset the 2,000 pounds. Okay. That's How much is a bag? Each bag is about 60 pounds. Okay. So we don't need, so once since we're offsetting it, we don't need that many bags. We'll obviously up the number of bags. We'll, we'll put 30 bags on it and okay. call it good. But that way, we'll be able to sit here and we'll be able to hoist up, crank them up, and we'll be able to lift that I-beam up. And then du Justin is going to come in, he's going to start welding these plates on. And uh, the first one we got to do is actually over there, though. Um, and the reason for that is is because we need to get out of their way okay. um, as we hoist right. it up. But that's kind of our big deal we'll be working on next. Uh, so uh, if you want to help me gather some tools, we need to get on. Um, they got one air compressor. I've got uh, another 100 2x4x8s by by coming for platforms. And I got 140 2x4x10s, uh, by by OK? Okay. And they're going to be used for the nine footers on the inside, okay? The two by four by eights will be used for making the rest of the uh, batter board frames, okay? Okay. But I was able to get it on the delivery for tomorrow, which is kind of sweet. Scared it won't bite you.